Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So just a heads up, today I'm gonna to be talking about old cameras and ways to convert them. So if you don't really care about this, it's okay. You can just watch either yesterday's or the one after this if you're watching this in the future. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the easiest ways to convert your very own video cassette tapes onto digital formats while you still can because these cameras are slowly breaking and aging out. So do it while you can. <laughs> But there are a lot of things that I wish I had known before trying to convert all these tapes. If you already know what camera and stuff you have, I'm just gonna leave timestamps in the bottom like if you just wanna skip, but I'll be starting from the very beginning right now. So yeah. So the first thing that you want to do, see if you have the original camera that you filmed all the tapes on and if that camera is still working. If that camera is still working, skip to this part in the video. If you still have the camera and it's not working, see if you can get one of the cameras of that exact model on eBay that is working. And if it's not available on that model for some reason, then you're gonna have to look at the camera and the tapes. Now, if you have the original camera, even if it's not working, it should say right here, just say either here or up at the top. It will say what kind of camera it is. For example, this is a digital eight camera but this camera is a video high eight. That can be very important when you're going shopping for cameras and you're looking at the tapes. That's why it's so, so important if you have the original camera to look at the model of it. All of the tapes are backwards compatible, so you can put any tape in, a, in an older camera, but you can't put any of the old tapes in newer cameras. It just will not work. So how do you differentiate if you don't have the camera and you just have the tapes? Well, you can look at the tapes, usually looking at the bottom. If it says video high eight and not just high eight on the tape, um, chances are you're gonna need video high eight camera. However, if it says at the bottom, just high eight, chances are it was filmed in a newer camera, but if you know for sure that it was filmed in a video high eight camera, you still need to buy a video high eight camera. Now, when going shopping for cameras on eBay, there are a couple things you gotta look for. One, if you have a specific model of camera in mind and you wanna look for that one, just type in the model, see if there's any available that actually work. This camera, we found this in our garage. First, we started looking for chargers and such, but then there was nothing because this camera's from like 1993. No working cameras on eBay. So we just had to go with a different video height camera, which I ended up getting this one, which is in really good condition. Really did a really good job. So if you have a specific camera model in mind, it does make things easier, but if not, just make sure when you're looking at eBay listings, regardless of the title, if it has pictures, look if it says the one you're looking for. If it's if it's a video high eight, look for ones that say video high eight. Or if it's newer cameras, digital eight. Yeah, and obviously if it's a mini DV camera, like <laughs> you'll know that this is the camera for you. Just warning, some of the video high eight cameras on eBay are a little bit more expensive because not as many of them work because they're older, obviously. Just keep your eye on them. Just make sure you're not overpaying a lot. But these digital eight cameras usually aren't too, too expensive, but I will say that the video high eight ones are a lot more harder to find and usually more expensive when you do find them. So now you have a camera. What are you gonna do next? So one thing I would order right away is this. This is a vid box. Um, I'll put a link in the description. You can buy them on Amazon. These are so helpful when converting. The and you can just download the software onto your computer and it just works seamlessly. And I'll show you that. After you have your vid box, you just gotta find the cable. So, one thing, if you have original cables from the camera or left over from the camera, use those. Chances are they probably still work. I mean, they probably haven't been used in a long time, but they probably still work. If not, and you're going out buying, again, look at the camera that you have. See what kind of ports it has, see what kind of cables you're gonna need. If you still have the camera, you still have the manual, look at that if you're trying to look for ports. Sometimes these ports are kind of hidden and they're different on every single camera. But if you don't have a manual and you're still like lost, just go on Google, They're everyone's printed them somewhere. So for example, this camera. Now if we look at these ports, almost every single camera is gonna have one of these, an S video port. Um, and this one has these three RCA ports. Now what you would do with these is I would use 
a male to male plug these this side into the vid box and this side into the camera and it would work a lot of the cameras are that have that kind of connection are really really old so you probably won't need to worry about finding male to male cables but there you can probably find them on amazon really cheap when you set up the vid box it will ask you if you want to use an rca connection or using the s video i don't have s video cables so i just do the rca it works just fine if your camera is newer, it will probably have one of these setups. It will have an S video, an audio video out, and usually another one. Now these, you use this. It looks like a headphone jack, and you just plug it in. Now these either you can get just from this. These are, that's why I had this mail to mail thing. These because I have like a jillion of these cables, but this is one that, the first one that works. So I <laughs> just went with it. And you just plug it into there you'll end up plugging these into your vid box and the vid box just plugs in through regular USB. So super simple. Almost every one of these Sony camcorders, like the, the full sized ones, you're usually gonna be using one of these contraptions for it. Like I'll show you the other ones I have. So the S video is right there and all the other ports are here. This is why it's helpful to find manuals and, and see that yellow, it's audio video out and I just plug it in and that's how it plugs in the vid box, everything's okay. And also with this one, this is a an, one of the newer Digital 8 ones. It's just here, just audio video out. I don't really mess with the other ports because it just, it's worked for the vid box. Now, if you have one of these mini DV ones, especially if you have this specific Handycam one, this is a little different. All the ports are under here. There is no audio video out in, head, in the headphone jack. Um, form. It's this. It's a weird like U-shaped cable. I fortunately still had this in the house so um, I didn't have to go shopping for it. I have no idea what this cable is called. I'll probably do my research and put all the cables, all the vid box, all stuff in the link in the description. It plugs in here and you could choose because this one has all four at the end. It has all the RCA ones or S video and left and right if you wanted to do it that way. I just do RCA, it's just way easier. Now, these cameras are really easy to find on eBay. We picked this up for like 50 bucks, it was super easy. So, I will say the mini DV ones because it was more popular, more people had them. These are a lot easier to find than especially the video height cameras, but the digital A ones are still pretty easy. So now I'm gonna go get my computer and I'm gonna show you what the whole vid box setup looks like. So here's my computer setup. It's just in my apps and you go to, you can do audio if you were com converting other things, but I don't need that. So now before I select anything, I'm gonna start setting up my camera. I'm using one of the newer cameras. So you're just gonna turn it on. Wow, lovely blue screen. So I'm gonna put the tape in. I think these are pretty cool with that. Anyway, so you're gonna put it in. I just moved the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to rewind the tape all the way to the beginning. This may take a while. If you have newer cameras like this, you can actually see where the contents of the tape start based on, you can see the time code up there. On the video height camera, I could not replicate that. So I thought the tapes were just broken, but I guess they just didn't add that feature in yet. It's gonna go till all of this is rewinded and so I can show you everything. So I just rewind the tape enough just so I can show you because to be honest, I'm really impatient. I'm just gonna plug audio video out cable into the computer, into the camera, do all these into the vid box. Oh, this is um, supported on both PC and Mac, by the way. So we're gonna select what our playback device is. Mine is a camcorder using RCA composite. Make sure everything is set up right. And you can select where you want the files to be saved and how long the recording time is. Um, I usually stop after six minutes just because it's easier to send the videos that way. Don't really know how long you could go. You can test that out yourself. Select a file name. We're gonna name it um, video one, part one. You can select your aspect ratio. Um, I usually just do that. One thing I would do before testing record is pressing play. Like right now, it's just starting this new video. So I'm pressing play and just make sure that it 
goes up, that's me. <laughs> just to make sure that it goes up on the screen right and it's not just so squiggly, I guess. Um, if it's really squiggly, that could be a problem with your cables and just try a new cable if you have them. And if not, just make sure you're connecting everything right and that the cable's in far enough and everything like that. I have never found problems with that. My cables have all been good. So now you can just hit record, hit play on your camera. Have the lovely sounds of my sister crying. Are you gonna sing Twinkle Twinkle for the baby, Sarah? So you can stop the video whenever you want. I'm just gonna stop it 20 seconds because I don't really want to hear my young self. So do you want to stop recording? Okay. And if you want to do like more parts, you can just go back and that's usually what I do. And then if you go to where you saved all the files, um, you can just click it and it'll play. Well, that's me because I was talking, but yeah. So, and that's pretty much it. And it's all, it's MP4, really easy to send. And yeah, so I hope this helped everyone out. If you have any questions, um, please leave a comment. I'll try to get back to those. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked that video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, if you have any questions, just comment and I'll try to get back to them. I just wanted to make a video because there are some things that I wish I had known before doing it because originally when we found these old tapes, the video high eight tapes, I was trying to put them in the, in the newer cameras and I was like, why is it not working? And I had to do a lot of Googling. Just make sure if you're going on eBay buying cameras that you know what camera you need. You can always go backwards, but you can't go forwards. So you can't put older tapes in newer cameras, but you can put newer tapes in older cameras. Just make sure that everything's going okay. But again, the most helpful thing is if you have the original camera and it's not working, try to buy that exact model. And if you can't, just try to buy like the model after it or something. I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down below. And yeah, and yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Good luck with converting all your videos. I just really thought like, because everyone's in quarantine, maybe you're cleaning out your garage and you found some of this stuff, might be very helpful. So yeah.